What is up, Houston Admin Retreat? This is Luke uh, down here at the county office back in Modesto, insanely jealous, uh, probably because you guys are out here at my favorite place in the whole wide world, AT&T Park, watching the Giants go for it. If you play your cards right, you might just get on some of these garlic fries from the Gilroy Garlic Stand. So I wanted to take a minute and uh, give you a few tips and tricks for uh, one of the activities Brenda's got here for you on the interactive document. Right, so here in a sec, you're going to uh, work on your slide, and you're going to add some graphics, you're going to add some videos, you're going to add uh, some things that you did this summer. So I just wanted to walk you through kind of how to do that. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to find your slide, right? And one of the things Brenda's going to ask you to add is text, and, and that's the easiest thing. Right here, you can see that it says click to add text. All you're going to simply do uh, in there is, is add something that you did this summer. So for example, for me, uh, one of the things I did this summer uh, is I took a trip to Philly. I did that, so we'll be ready to rock with all our tech integrations for this fall. So now, um, Brenda has asked that we add some images and some videos and things like that. So the, these next couple of steps will help you uh, add some dynamic pieces to your slide um, so you can really uh, paint a picture about what you did this summer. So possibly the easiest way to add an image to a Google Slideshow is to come right up here in the top left hand corner and find the word insert. From there I'm going to find the word image. By clicking on image I can now come right down here within Google and search royalty free images within Google. So again uh, I uh, travel to Philadelphia. So if I search images of Philadelphia uh, there they are. All I have to do is simply click the image and say select and it will drop that image right into my slideshow and then I can size that thing just as I would uh, in a PowerPoint or something to that effect. But another option you have that's pretty cool is opening a new tab, right? So here you can see I'm working on this tab right here for the admin planning retreat slideshow. While in Philadelphia the great Bert Lowe and I, we did the great cheesesteak shootout, and that's the deal between Geno's and Pat's, kind of the two rivals in South Philly. So in order to get this image over to my slide, all I'm going to do is simply click on it, keeping my mouse depressed, and I'm going to drag it up here to the slide I was working on, or the, the tab I was working on. You see that tab will open back up, I drag that image right back down to my document, and then I let go of it right there. So again, one more time, I've got, a, I've got a separate tab open with a Google search for images on it. I just grabbed this image from Geno's here. Now I'm going to grab Pat's. So again, I click on the image. I keep my mouse depressed. I drag this up to the tab I'm working on. That tab will open back up. I keep my mouse depressed. And then I'm going to let go of it right here. And this way I'll be able to share with you that I am a Geno's man because I like the bread a little bit better than I did at Pat's. So we did the great cheesesteak shootout there in South Philly. So again, you can insert an image from here or, like I like to do, I like to open a new tab, take an image from here, and drag it up to the tab I'm working on, bring it back down, and let go of it once I'm back on the tab. Okay, a couple of different ways to add an image. So Brenda has also indicated that she might like you guys to try adding a little video here, again, to uh, make the slide a little more entertaining, a little more uh, dynamic. So again, up here under Insert, we have the ability to add a video. And what's really cool about Google is uh, they own YouTube, right? So if I wanted to indicate that I saw some 4th of July fireworks, I can simply search that right here within my Google Slideshow. So if I hit search, it's going to go out and track down some videos that encompass 4th of July fireworks. Let's say we like the Macy's 4th of July 2015 right here from New York City. I simply select that and hit the button select and it will take and drop that video right here into my slide and I can even double click and play it if I would like to. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of that one because I didn't actually go to the New York uh, fireworks show. Uh, the other way you can add a video is if you have uh, a URL to a video that you know you want to use. Okay, so for example, you can head out to the YouTube machine uh, and grab a URL of a video you know you want. 
So I'm going to go ahead and pause this for a second and I'm going to go nab that video. So what I've done here is a YouTube search for a video that I know I want. So I'm not searching specifically from within the slide. I've gone out to YouTube and found a specific video. This happens to be a video of my family and I heading off to Disneyland uh, last summer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to grab the URL. I'm just going to copy that. Right? And then back here on my slideshow, again, I'm going to go to Insert, and again, I'm going to choose Video. But this time, instead of searching for a video, I'm going to click the URL button, because I've got a link that I went out and grabbed from YouTube. And you see that Google is able to go out and nab that video for me. And then I hit Select, and again, it will drop that video right onto my slide. And again, a quick double click uh, of that video will play it right here within the slideshow. So again, adding text is as easy as clicking there into the box. Uh, adding images, you can drag across tabs or go through the Insert tab. Uh, and the Insert tab will also uh, quickly and easily get you some video here onto your slide. So I hope you guys are having a blast. Um, can't wait for the fall season to start and really get this ball rolling. Hope you guys have a great time. See you soon. Bye.